Hi there, it's Bill Weemoth and another bonus for you here on July the 30th that I just couldn't resist because at the Library of Congress website, there was a feature on Henry Ford. Automobile manufacturer Henry Ford was born July 30 in 1863 on his family's farm in what is present-day Dearborn, Michigan. From the time that he was a young boy, Ford enjoyed tinkering with machines. Farm work and a job in Detroit machine shop afforded him ample opportunities to experiment. He worked successively as an apprentice machinist, a part-time employee for the Westinghouse Engine Company, and an engineer with the Edison Illuminating Company. By then, he was earning enough money to experiment on building an internal combustion engine. By 1896, Ford had constructed his first horseless carriage, a gasoline-powered motor car that he named the Quadricycle because it ran on four bicycle tires. He sold that vehicle, which was built on a steel frame and had a seat but no body, in order to finance his work on an improved model. Well, Ford incorporated the Ford Motor Company in 1903, proclaiming, quote, I will build a car for the great multitude. In October of 1908, he did so, offering the Model T for $850. In the Model T's 19 years of production, its price dipped as low as $260 without extras. More than 15 million cars were sold in the United States alone. The Model T heralds the beginning of the motor age. The car evolved from luxury item for the well-to-do to essential transportation for the ordinary man. On November the 4th, 1899, an automobile parade was held in downtown Manhattan. The parade demonstrated at least 10 different makes and models, including models with electric and steam-powered machines. Just three years earlier, in 1896, Henry Ford, Charles Brady King, Alexander Winton, and Ransom Eli Olds had each introduced gasoline cars. In 1900, the first National Auto Show was held at Madison Square Garden. Favorite models were the electrics and the steamers. In 1901, newly discovered Texas oil fields lowered gasoline prices, and that same year mass production techniques were introduced into car manufacturing. These two factors would prove to be key in the rapid growth of the American automobile industry. Now, Henry Ford revolutionized manufacturing, combining precision manufacturing, standardized and interchangeable parts, division of labor, and by 1913, a continuous moving assembly line. By 1914, his Highland Park, Michigan plant, using innovative production techniques, turned out a complete chassis every 93 minutes, a stunning improvement over the earlier production time of 728 minutes. Using a constantly moving assembly line, subdivision of labor, and careful coordination of operations, the company realized huge gains in productivity. In 1914, Ford announced his plan to profit share with the workers and began paying his employees $5 for an eight-hour day, nearly doubling the wages offered by other manufacturers. And he reduced the workday from nine to eight hours in order to convert the factory to a three shift workday. Ford's mass production techniques eventually allowed for the manufacture of a Model T every 24 seconds. His innovations made him an international celebrity. Ford's affordable Model T altered American society. As more Americans owned cars, urbanization patterns changed. The United States saw the growth of suburbia, the creation of a national highway system, and a population entranced with the possibility of going anywhere at any time. Ford witnessed many of these challenges and changes during his lifetime, all the while personally longing for the agrarian lifestyle of his youth. In 1927, Ford decided on a plan for his museum. The Henry Ford 
houses the Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. The complex was dedicated in 1929 and opened to the public in 1933. The Henry Ford Museum contains an important collection of Americana, and Greenfield Village is an open-air, outdoor village museum that influenced the historic preservation movement. Henry Ford died on April the 7th of 1947. Today might be a good day to hop in the car and go for a scenic drive. Get out of town, get out into the suburbs, get out into the countryside if it's near enough to you, and rejuvenate yourself for the journey ahead. I'm so glad you're sharing part of this journey of discovery with me at historyhighlights.com. Come on over to the website, prowl around, see what else you like. Of course, we've got a great member site with all kinds of extra benefits. If you're not already a part of that, come on over and check it out at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com forward slash history highlights. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.